Hey guys, I'm gonna try to do some work on my basement wall. All of this foam got displaced when we were working on the other area in the basement, so to try to get it out of my way, I'm gonna do some work on the shelves so I can hopefully use it up. I decided to start with Megaforce. I'm gonna try to work in some of the bikes since they're smaller figures and it's a big shelf area to fill. For a while I kinda had my own rule that if it wasn't on TV it didn't go on display. I don't know. I guess I don't care as much anymore. All right, that looks like something. I'm not looking forward to part two, which is uh, plastering this. All right, I've got this mostly plastered. It's still not done, but that's the general layout. While I'm waiting for the plaster to dry on Megaforce, I'm gonna work on Overdrive and get that finished. Very close to being done. I had to do my lava, which lights up, and then I had to finish some rock things. All right, Operation Overdrive is mostly done now. There are still a few more little scenery things I'd like to do, but really it's fine. I I'm gonna move on for now. My blue light speed ranger doesn't like standing up so much anymore. He's gotten very loose. To eBay. Now I've moved on to light speed rescue. I'm doing the demon tomb. This is where the demons were released and where Titanium Ranger fought the Cobra. All right, let that dry. Now who's at the door? Oh, now what? To me. What? Oh my God, it's heavy. What could this be? What, what could this even be at this point? I don't know. It's heavy. It is so pretty right now. We're on our way to Walmart. This is the Walmart parking lot. Isn't that crazy? How's that for fall color? There isn't a single Power Ranger. Uh, honey, there's more to life than Power Rangers. Always with the Power Rangers. There, isn't that? That's the Gold Ranger. <laughs> Where's my eggs? Where's my milk? Is there another pandemic happening right now that we're not aware of? Why are we hoarding on a Wednesday or a Tuesday or a Friday or whatever today might be? <laughs> Tuesday, it's a Tuesday. A quick McFatty. Uh-oh, the McRib farewell tour. This could be your last bite. That's okay. <laughs> Man. Eat that, it might be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, did you eat a boo? Hopefully Wegmans will have food. Wish us luck. Mia needs to try some Snoop Dogg wine. <laughs> 19 crimes. Is that how many you've done today, Mia? I've done more than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got some wine, coffee, and frozen pizza. And milk. That'll keep us inside for a while, I guess. Try our new crusty rib witch. Mmm, I don't mind the taste. <laughs> now, speaking of the McRib, I have a Pratt story about that. One night in The Simpsons, they had an episode about the rib witch, which made Jerry want a McRib sandwich. <laughs> for some reason, Mia and Jerry were up very early in the morning and they went to Myrtle Avenue trying to find a rib witch equivalent. So they tried to go to KFC and they weren't even open yet. Mia was hungry, so they went to a bodega, and Mia got an egg sandwich, which she ate half of, and then offered the rest to Jerry. Back in the day, Jerry generally didn't eat food that somebody else had eaten, because he considered it contaminated. But he did accept Mia's half-egg sandwich, and he was making faces at it. Then he ate it, and then Mia decided to have fun with him and said, Now you're going to get meningitis. <laughs> Well, coincidentally, Jerry did get sick a day or so later. So then on his computer, he had an away message that read, Stupid Mia giving me stupid meningitis. His mother saw it and she freaked out. Stupid, you call me. You leave a message that you have meningitis. You better tell me whether you're kidding or not. You better give me a call. End of message. Oh, what a naughty face. Yeah, that's the face of, I know what I did. I think Mia's cute little college butt needed a spanking for that. It is so pretty outside. I got my Zap Dragonzord, so I'm doing a Megazord Dragonzord video now. This was unfortunately before I figured out how to reveal his upper teeth. Oh well. There are some valid complaints with the Zap Zords, but overall they get more hate than they deserve. I thought more people would have been impressed that he can hold a staff like this. I thought that was pretty cool. 
I think this combination is just beautiful. Mostly I just heard complaints about the Dragon Zord's knees sticking out too far. That's kind of what it looks like on TV. And speaking of spanking, there are only so many transforming versions of this Megazord that could actually sit down to spank Lord Zed. That video has since been finished and is up on the other channel if you missed it. So this is kind of the end of the color for us. It's, it's still here, but it's not gonna be much longer and we've really just been in the house working the whole time. So we're gonna try to go out at least for a few hours and enjoy the leaves before they're gone. Such a beautiful drive. Today seems like a good day to go to Peddler's Village. There's some new Harry Potter themed store there that looks cool that we wanna check out. We've got some cool sounding drinks. So we're gonna walk around there for a little bit and then get food and then come back and do more work. Sounds like a plan, right? Right now, Peddler's Village is having their scarecrow contest, so there'll be scarecrows all over the place. All right, here we are. We're at Peddler's Village. It's pretty. We have found a Totoro. A woman looked like she was pointing at me and said to her daughter, did you want to take a picture with Bruno? I was like, what? And it, it wasn't me. It was the, uh, the Disney version scarecrow. Are these the underwear for you? I kind of like those. Ooh. All right, here it is, the cloak and wand. Hey, they've got broom parking. Did you need a new doll, Mia? I don't need that doll. They had a bunch of wands that were just out. I guess you could try them. They didn't say not to. Portal to Supernatural Realm. Did we need that? Here are those drinks I was talking about. Potiony. We gotta see what good fall bakery stuff they've got. It's a pumpkin chocolate chip cheesecake muffin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got a bunch of good-looking fall things to try. And my head won't fit in the cupcake. <laughs> I'm just realizing now, these are different sizes and Mia's got the big cupcake and I'm in the small one. I think we were kind of backwards here. Beautiful day at Peddler's Village. And now we're gonna go get some non-sugary food for dinner. Have I mentioned what a beautiful drive this is? There's a little Thai place in here that we haven't tried yet. We're fooling around while we're waiting for the food. <laughs> it's getting you, man. Look, it's Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> it is him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. It is the most beautiful evening in Pennsylvania. We're excited about our food and desserts. Oh no, another box? All of the food was good, but we can't say we were surprised. Whoa. Whatever it is, I called it. No way. We got the silver I uh, called it. Heck yes. Oh my. In the twist nobody saw coming. The bike's eight inches long. It's Halloween, it's Halloween time. time. Mochi, that's precious. <laughs> Oh, good girl. Oh, Moochie. Oh, good girl. I've been working on my Mega Force set, and I'm really not liking the way the rocks are looking. I tried to do this an easier way, but I think I need to do it the harder way that looks better. We had our traditional Halloween pizza, but just frozen pizza this time. And I think I only went to the door four or five times this year. Not, not many trick-or-treaters. Somebody on Facebook had predicted Jerry was gonna make pizza in this vlog. I don't know how they did it. Here it is. Here it is. All right, I actually made some good progress down here on the shelves. 
I'll show him in the next video, though. So a few more little things to do, and it's late in the vlog. So that'll just continue on to the next video. All right. We're going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.